Right after his win in New Hampshire last week, it looked like Mitt Romney would win in South Carolina, too. But his once big lead evaporated in just the last few days. Jan Crawford is covering the Romney campaign. Jan? Well, Scott, Romney just finished speaking with his supporters a few moments ago. They were cheering. They were upbeat, chanting, Florida, Florida, as if they're already looking ahead to the next state. He said he had called Speaker Gingrich to concede this race. And then he said it was going to be a long haul and he was going to compete in every single state. He started his remarks by talking about President Obama, attacking President Obama. He said this election would be a battle for America's soul. But then, Scott, he turned his sights on Speaker Gingrich. Let's take a listen to that. President Obama has no experience running a business and no experience running a state. Our party can't be led to victory by someone who also has never run a business and never run a state. Now, now, Scott, that is a new line of attack from Romney. And the irony is it's been Gingrich who's been saying Romney is too much like President Obama and therefore can't beat him. But Romney's remarks tonight, coupled with things that we've heard from him today and yesterday, are signaling that he is going to fight for this nomination and he is going to take it right back to Newt Gingrich and argue that he is different, that he is the man best poised to beat the president, and that he can win this nomination. Jan, thanks very much.